Okay, now for part B, um, of question number one, hence find the coefficient of x cubed in the expansion of what follows. So we already got the answer for part A up here. So what we can do is we can say, all right, uh, if we just write this out, you've got 3 plus 10x times our expansion, which is 1 minus 5 over 4x plus 45 over 64x squared. So let's make that neater. x squared. Okay, and minus 15 over 64x cubed. Okay, now, for us to now expand this, we don't have to actually go through the whole expansion of all of this. Okay, we only want up to the coefficient of x cubed here. Okay, that's all we want. Okay, we just want the up to the expansion of x cubed. Okay, just the x cubed term the coefficient of x cubed. All you want is just the x cubed coefficient. So if we think about what we can multiply in order to get the x cubed coefficient, well, 3 times, we're going to have 3 times minus 15 over 64 x cubed will give you an x cubed term. Okay, that's one of them. And you'll also have 10x times the x, the x term times the x squared term will also give you an x cubed term. So you're going to have 10x multiplied by 45 over 64 x cubed x squared sorry and that's going to have 10x times that and you're going to have that times that x cubed times that I think that everything else will give you um, something that won't be an x cubed term okay so you'll have 3 times that if you have 3 times all of these that's the only x cubed if you have 10x times all of these that will be the only x cubed and, and that's it so it's these two terms that you have to add together ok so that's 3 times minus 15 which is minus 45 over 64 x cubed and here you're going to have plus you're going to have 450 150 over 64 x cubed. Okay, that's 450. Yes, yeah. so you can say 450 minus 45 is 405. So you have 405 over 64 x cubed. Okay, does that simplify? Well, you can simply you can do a simple check. 405 over 64. Sorry, over 64. And that doesn't simplify, so therefore the answer is 405 over 64. And there we have it. That's the answer to one part B.